Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my DDD deck profile for October 2017. For a while now, a lot of you have been asking me to give an update to this deck with the new link format. Uh, really cut down on what a lot of the deck could do as to special summoning from the extra deck, but I believe the deck still has potential to be a really fun deck in which you can use your uh, basic uh, abilities with fusion summoning, synchro summoning, and exceed summoning to still get off some pretty powerful plays. Uh, you just have to know uh, the proper moves to go into. So let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Uh, to start off for the monster lineup, I'm running three DD Savant Kepler. Kepler's still good for the fact that he can search out your uh, basic uh, dark contract card when he is normal or special summon, or you can target one other DD card you control, return it to the hand, and you can add either one of these effects, and he's also good for the scale 10 as well if you want to go for a big pendulum summon as well, depending on just the kind of move you want to do with this card. And also 3DD Savant Copernicus, another good scale. And he also has send abilities, which makes the card really well worth it. When it's normal or special summon, you can send one DDD or Dark Contract uh, card from your deck to the graveyard, except for Savant Copernicus. You can only use each uh, this effect of Savant Copernicus once per turn. And then it has a spell effect negation effect for its pendulum scale. Also good for just the low scale, which you can use. But I like him more for the monster effect, which allows you to have that send. So you can use it with cards like uh, Necroid uh, Slime and Swirl Slime. These two cards get off some pretty easy fusion summons for you to use um, by banishing or sending those cards from the graveyard. So using Copernicus, you can even send Lamia, which is your good tuner for your big crystal wing play. Just a lot to do with this card, depending on the situation. And also three, DD Savant Newton. Now, with this card, it is your big scale that you'll go into, and it also has a discard effect to target one DDD or Dark Contract in your graveyard, except for Newton, add to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Now, the one thing that you could swap this out for two Newton, and then if you wanted to add in a one for one into this deck for the spell lineup, just for you can have faster searches with your Kepler, you can do that play. It's kind of the choice of the uh, player there, since we are kind of going off of a big monster lineup with this build. Just so you can get off your monster plays a lot faster, in my opinion. And also three, DDD Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. This is your big monster play to go into. When it's normal or special summon, you can target one DDD monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and you can only use this effect of Abyss King Ragnarok once per turn. And once per turn, you can tribute one other DD monster, then target one monster your opponent controls, banish it. So he's got really good defense, which you can sit off of as well, and a pretty good monster level for you can use uh, this card for your Exceed Summon for some of your bigger Exceed monsters, which is what I like about uh, the whole DDD archetype. You do only get one summon from the extra deck, but if you can make use of that one monster to go into even bigger plays, uh, it's really good. Like, for say, if I summon Abyss King Ragnarok from the extra deck and he goes to the extra monster zone, I can then hopefully have another monster on the field to use with Abyss Ragnarok to overlay into something like Kali Yuga or Synchro Summon into something bigger that I can make better use of. And also three, DD Savant Newton. I mean, not Newton, Thomas. I like running Thomas for his putback effect. He um, allows you with its pendulum effect during your main phase, you can target one face up DD pendulum monster from your extra deck and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Now, the one thing that's really good with pendulums is getting around the whole extra deck lock in which you can add the monsters back to your hand and then pendulum some of them. So Thomas really helps. I just wish his scale was a little better because then you basically have to go for 6 and 10 on your pendulum scales. But the good thing is you can get out your big play still. Like if um, some situations you have this in your extra deck and you have one in your hand, you can get the one special there and then the one from your hand. But if they're both in your extra deck, you can use Thomas to add the one back to your hand and then still special the one from your extra deck and the one from your hand both to the field for a bigger play. And two, DD Rebel King Leonidas. Now this card's good with the contracts, just for the burn and then the life point gain. And he's also been pretty handy in some matches where I went up against Trick Stars, just you know stopping that burn damage. Um, kind of a perfect main deck side uh, for those decks. But all in all, good for the contract burn because that can still really get you at times if you let your contracts get ahead of you too much. 
And then for the non-Pendulum monsters, I run three DD Swirl Slime. This is your Fusion card. Like I said, with Swirl Slime, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to Fusion Summon. Uh, one DDD Fusion Monster from your extra deck. Um, and also you can banish this card from your graveyard to Special Summon one DD Monster from your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. So it helps take care of those situations where you can't Pendulum Summon by getting that Special Summon. But the Fusion helps also because you can send it and Necro Slime to the graveyard to get off that easy Fusion Summon. Now the bad thing is, since uh, this combo used to be able to get you two Fusions, you're kind of locked out of the extra deck now. So you'll have to rely on using the Necroid, Necro slime combo uh, to basically go for a, another fusion later on down the road and speaking of necro slime also three of this card now i might bump this card down to two just for the fact that um, the deck has been slowed down but i still like it for the whole potential in the graveyard he's a good send with copernicus and copernicus most of the time can come from your hand for the normal or special summon so go off of that um, when you want to make your fusion play since you'll send that monster to the graveyard and you'll have your resources there to go off of but like I said, most of the time with Copernicus, you'll want to go into Lamia because with Lamia, you can get your bigger synchro plays off and have resources to go into for cards like Crystal Wing. Really good overall with that card. And finally, the one non uh, DDD monster that I run in this deck just because it really helps with link format. Uh, not completely locking you out of your extra deck is Gofu. Uh, the Vague Shadow. This card is your one go-to card for Decode Talker. Having two cards um, able to special summon from the extra deck with Decode Talker on the field immensely helps this deck just with its special summon potential. If you get the Decode Talker out and you have Necro and Swirl Slime in your hand, <coughs> Excuse me. You can go for your double fusion play, which I find very helpful. So if you open this, Swirl and Necro, like I said, there's your play right there. And you'll even have the Decode Talker pointing to those two arrows for even more power. It's a really cool combo if you can get it off, especially. And then for the spell cards, like I said, we run a really big monster count, but they all work really well together well, with that synergy of everything, pendulum scale-wise, monster-wise, together as a whole. But for the spells, three, Dark Contract with the Gate. This card's still really good um, for the search effect. Like I said, the 1,000 burns, the only thing you have to worry about, but it's not too, too big of a worry when you have cards like Leonidas and the whole fact that um, you're going to have some big plays go off, and hopefully that'll be your kill play to go off of with this card. And also, two, uh, Contract with the Dark Swamp King. This card is your fusion play uh, by banishing or sending uh, DD monsters for your fusion summon. It's the card you use basically instead of polymerization in the deck, but still really good uh, when you don't have those swirl slime combos, because in my opinion, fusion summoning is one of your best plays to go for in the deck. And I'm also trying out three Wavering Eyes. Now this card can go back and forth. If you don't want to run Wavering Eyes, you can try a bunch of different art combos with this deck, including cards just that, you know, influence, um, like Allura Darkness for draw power. You can go for the one-for-one, one, mix and match with the Allura Wavering Eyes, one-for-one, one, and any of the other cards this deck runs. But I find this card helps just for your kind of dead pendulum scales to search something better, especially if you make a scale just for that summon. You can even, you know, destroy those scales, go for the Kepler search, and then have your normal summon be a little better by grabbing a dark contract as well and you won't really minus yourself there and against the pendulum matchup it really helps as well since you can destroy their cards and just get added benefits and then three twin twisters as well to finish up this card helps because you can ditch your necro slimes from your hand to the graveyard and pop your opponent's back row which can really screw with some of your plays if you go for the pendulum summons and whatnot and still have necro slime in the graveyard to work with it's my favorite ditch obviously where i use this card in the deck and the one trap I run is Dark Contract with the Witch. It's just a good card where you can send one DD or a Dark Contract card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use this effect of Dark Contract once per turn. Just kind of that, um, comparing it to Pendulum Graph now and Pendulum Magicians, where you can destroy those cards. And not have to worry too, too much about some of the big cards coming out. It's kind of that shield you have during your opponent's turn when you don't have big monsters to rely on. And then onto the extra deck, I run two DDD Oracle King to Arc, one of the easiest fusions to make in the uh, extra deck, and you gain life with this card, so kind of like a backup, easier card to get out than Leonidas. And he's also a level 7, so um, take that in mind when you want to go for your bigger synchro summons. Uh, one DDD Flame Genghis. 
this card helps just with additional special summons as well and like I said bigger plays can be gotten off with him uh, with King Beowulf, you just need one DD D monster and one DD monster. This card really helps with some of the kills since he has the piercing effect and 3,000 damage on his own. And the spell and trap destruction effect helps as well. And then for your bigger plays, I have one DDD wave of Leaf King, Caesar Ragnarok. It has the monster control effect, which you can gain control of one of your opponent's monsters and equip it onto this card. Four more power plays, pretty crazy there. And what I love about this whole deck in general is you have so many different plays to go into that it really makes the deck quite entertaining to go with. And also running one of the new Starving Venom... Star Supreme King, Dragon Starving Venom. You just need to tribute two Dark Pendulum monsters to make this card. So very easy since all the DD monsters that are Pendulum are dark. So very simple to get him out if you need him. And then for the Synchros, one DDD, Gus King Alexander. You're level 7 and your one key card play to get out Crystal Wing with Lamia. Also one Cursed King Siegfried. One of the immense, if I, I run this card completely for fun, if you can get this card out, that's the whole fun of that card. Same with Doom King Armageddon, just for those big plays that you can possibly got off. Go for it, they're a lot of fun when you do get them off. And lastly for the Synchros, the one Crystal Wing, get him out obviously, good guard wall against monster effects. And then for the Exceeds, I run uh, Duo King Kali Yuga. One of the Doom King Dark Armageddon that I spoke of. And one Sylvan Princess Sprite. Princess Sprite is good for the level 1 plays if you can't get off anything else. If you have Kepler and uh, basically Lamia on the field, you overlay the two of them. Go for her and use her effect for more search benefits. And then lastly, two Decode Talker. This card, like I said, just works really well with the Gofu for its easy link play. And then the two arrows really help with wherever you want to go for for your extra deck summons. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.